Hello and welcome to another vlog. Today we're going to talk about what I call the Great Big Beer Con. What's a beer con? I'll explain right now. Beer is a very simple drink to make. It's basically fermented sugar, water and it's flavoured with hops or malt or barley or a combination of any of those. But the biggest single ingredient in beer is water. Now that is for me what gives beers their unique taste the water for instance an asian beer the water in asia tastes different to the water in the uk and that flavor is imparted into the beer so when you're in asia and you drink an asian beer with asian water it's got a completely different flavor to a british beer same with an italian beer if you drink an italian beer or a german beer their water is different to the UK they're different to each other a German beer tastes different to an Italian beer because of the water except it's a bit of a con doom bar I've taken just lately to reading beer bottle labels after somebody pointed this out to me this the blurb on the bottle right we started brewing in rock in 1994 with an ambition to brew an exceptional beer a philosophy and it goes on to say this is a philosophy they've held to today sharps brewery rock cornwall on the back here it gives you the blurb about uh, how the beer came about now it's named after a sandbank or uh, some sort of bar in the ocean in in in, in cornwall near rock and it repeats it sharps rock cornwall everything about this says to me that i'm drinking a cornish beer until you get to the bit where it says brewed in Burton upon Trent. Hang on. That's not in Cornwall. No, Burton on Trent's not in Cornwall. It's nowhere near Cornwall. Burton on Trent is over 250 miles away from Cornwall, from Rock in Cornwall. So, are they bringing the water up from Cornwall to Burton on Trent to brew the beer? no they're not no they're brewing it with the water in burton on trent because otherwise they might as well just brew it down in rock so it's actually burton on trent beer that i'm drinking not cornish beer at all they get around this by saying it's brewed to a cornish recipe that's yeah but you're not using cornish ingredients are you that's that's just a con so that's not actually what it appears to be so that's one beer let's have a look at another beer i don't know if i'm pronouncing this right star up Bremen. established in prague the spirit of Prague proudly brewed since 1849, 1869, 1849. Give some blurb on the back here um, about how the visionary brewers set out to brew a beer that captured the spirit of Prague. And it says up here, established in Prague. Everything about this says it's a Czech beer to me. Now, Czech beers are nice. Czech beers are nice. Again, it's the water, I think, that makes the difference. That's what separates it from a UK beer. So I'm, I look forward to having this, and I started to drink it, and I thought, well, actually, that tastes just like Doombar. It's brewed in the UK, in Burton-on-Trent. That's nowhere near Prague. That's thousands of miles from Prague. Did they bring the water over from Prague to brew this beer? No, they didn't. They brewed it with Burton-on-Trent water. So it's not a it's not a Czechoslovakian beer at all. It's it's a Burton on Trent beer. Okay, I feel a bit con there. Right, I've been to Singapore. Okay, I've been out to Asia. I've been to Singapore. I've drunk a Singapore sling in the Raffles Hotel. All right, I've touched the Merlion. If you've been to Singapore, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right. I've been to Singapore, I've drunk Tiger Beer. Tiger Beer is Singapore's beer. It is a lovely beer. It is really, really nice. I really like Tiger Beer. So I bought myself some. Tiger. Tiger since 1932. World acclaimed, look, world acclaimed Asian lager. Award winning full bodied beer born in Singapore. Yep, this is Asian beer. A bold lager born in the heart of Asia. Yep. It's brewed in the UK. This, this, this Asian lager is brewed in the UK. 
All right, it's not brewed in Burton on Trent. That's something different. All right, and apparently it might be brewed somewhere up in Scotland, but it's not brewed with Asian water. They didn't bring the water over from Asia and then brewed the beer because if you're going to do that, you might as well brew it over there and bring it over as beer. So they brewed it with UK water. It is not an Asian beer. It is a UK beer pretending to be an Asian beer. So I'll put that away. Right. What have we got here? It's another Asian beer, all right? Japanese beer. I d I've never tried a Japanese beer until I tried this one. I thought, I'll give it a try, because I do like my beer. We'll try it. Okay, look. It's got Japanese writing on the label. It says Asahai. It's super dry. Asahai Breweries Limited. Um, a Karachua taste. Um, it gives us a spiel on there again about their brewing technology and how it's uh, done with a brewed under the supervision of a master brewer. And it's brewed to an authentic Japanese recipe. There is everything about this beer that says it's Japanese. Until you read the bottom and it says it's brewed in Italy by Peroni. It's not Japanese at all. The water isn't Japanese. It's Italian. You've conned me again. You've brewed me a Japanese beer and made it with Italian water. It is not an authentic Japanese beer. It's not what it claims to be. It's a con. Hey, come to another one. Tisky. This is a Polish beer. Okay. Now, by now, I'm getting to a point where I'm just sitting fed up with drinking British beers, pretending to be something else. Tisky. I opened it up and I started to drink it. And I thought, actually, this tastes rather nice. This actually tastes a bit different from these because these are pretty much the samey. This does taste a bit different. I wonder who brews this. Is it brewed on Burton on Trent or is it brewed somewhere else? And I look at the back. And I'm absolutely gobsmacked. This beer is brewed in Poland. Yep, it's a Polish beer made with Polish water. Out of all the beers that I've tried just recently, it's the only one that's as described. And there's a sort of irony here, right? Because it says on the bottle, imported into the UK by Asahai Breweries Limited. Asahai, that's right, Asahai. The people, these people, Asahai, the Japanese beer maker that can only make Japanese beer in Italy with Italian water, have imported a Polish beer made with Polish water. It's, it's, it's all about money, isn't it? I mean, it's obviously cheaper to brew a Japanese beer in the UK than it is to uh, brew it in Japan and ship it over. But that's not the point. The point is that I feel conned. I think that I'm going out to buy a beer that gives me a... I, I think I'm trying to capture the taste of that country and that culture. And I'm not. I'm drinking a British beer with a label that's making me believe it's some, from somewhere else. And to me, that's just a con. Anyway, that's enough from this log. I'm going to go and have a beer now. I might have another Tisky, you never know. I'm going to go and have a beer now, and I'm going to read the label carefully. And I'm going to make sure, before I buy it actually, I'm going to make sure that it's actually what it says it is. And if it isn't, I'm not going to buy it. So I haven't decided what beer I'm going to have yet, but I will have one. Anyway, that's enough for me. Look out for another log from me. Log? Look out for another vlog from me. Please, if you want to see more, help me out. Please follow me and subscribe. Thank you very much.